Jeannie, I mean, it was frantic. I'm here across the street at the Publix parking lot from First Coast High School, where a lot of the parents actually sat here and waited for going on two hours for their students. I also spoke with some students who were inside at the time, and they told me that they had to wait until police searched their class for any threats. I promise I got him safe. I got you. Okay. <laughs> parents reassuring other parents that their children are safe after a two hour lockdown at First Coast High School. Police say at 1130 this morning, someone called 911 saying they'd shoot up the school. Parents were alerted of the incident by the school district. We've seen ambulance. We've seen state troopers pass by. We've seen the helicopters come. They're just saying they're locked in the room. Some are in closets. Some are laying on the floor. Jillian Cabrera has a ninth grade son who attends First Coast. She says she clocked out of work early to come pick him up from school. Very aggravated. I'm very scared and nervous. I had to leave work in the middle of me working and I'm just standing here just waiting. I'm just scared for my son and all the other children because this is not not safe for them. We spoke with students who described what the day was like. I saw the police come into our classroom because we got put on lockdown. Yeah. So I saw the at first it was just a regular officer. The second time it was an officer. It was a SWAT team the second time. Police say they checked the school's perimeter inside and outside using canines and a helicopter looking for anything suspicious. They was like, they didn't say um, who the person was or how many people there was. They just was like it was a person who made a threat to our school. And police searched inside and outside. They did not find any threats. They say everyone is OK, but they're still trying to trace who exactly made that phone call. Police also tell me this is a very serious threat. You could be facing felony charges for making a threat to the school. Reporting live tonight from the north side, I'm Destiny McKeever, First Coast News on your side.